The first thing that we're going to be doing tonight is going through Crossfire. If you're unfamiliar with Crossfire, shout out to Crossfire Podcast. Great people over there, Dave and Russ. We love them. Friends of the community, friends of the church. We've worked together before. They put out a, it's not really weekly. I guess it's sort of weekly. They they try to do a, a very regular podcast called the Crossfire Podcast. And this week's topic was 56 must play video games. And so I thought, well, that sounds like a fun opportunity for some content, some content. They went in alphabetical order. I'm gonna rank them. I'm gonna rank these 56 games by my own hot take, excluding the ones that I've never played before, because there are a couple on there that are that are games I've not played. But if I've even if I've even played it a little bit, I count it. But there are some games that I've genuinely not played at all on this list. So I figure the first thing we could do is go through the list and then I'll rank them. Yeah, first look at them. Then we'll rank them. So let's uh, let's let's give it a little let's give it a look see then, and see what we're working with, and see if you guys agree disagree with my order as I come up with them. So this is on my backlogged, and this is their list in alphabetical order. Now you will notice over here to the side that it says 72 games. They did give a list of 56 games. However, they gave a lot of games that were like sequels. So like they recommended Last of Us and Last of Us Two. Technically, there's even more than this because they did Forza Horizon 3 and 4 and 5. There were several that they said like any from the franchise. So there are a couple that are tricky on here. I also did the new Tomb Raider. I don't know which one they were. I think they just said Tomb Raider franchise. So I have no idea which one they were talking about. Again, here you go. Here's Super Mario. They did Super Mario or Super Mario World. So I put them both on there. So this is a little bit weird, but it is 72 games that I'm going to be ranking. But I'm going to be ranking all these games for pure quality and where I think they should go in order because hashtag content. Now I will say in their podcast, this is the only hot take I'm gonna give you guys. Dave and Russ, love you, mean it. I am gonna give you a little bit of constructive criticism here. You wanted to touch on all of these touchstone games, these games that are like hallmarks of different play styles. Nary a monster collector, not a single Pokemon in here. That's a big miss opportunity. And also no visual novels. That's my hashtag hot take. Those are the two things that I like love more than anything. You did get a farming sim, so you, you get bonus points there. But the fact that we got Half-Life and Half-Life Alex, and we don't have a pocket man's is it hurts me deep inside. The fact that League is on here and not a pocket man's hurts me deep down, deep in my heart, in my heart of hearts. So that's where I'll end my rant. And we're going to, we're going to rank the rest of them by our own subjective opinion rather than what things didn't make the list or didn't make the cuts. But those are those are my hot takes. We're gonna rank them. So here comes the magic. I don't really know how I wanna do this necessarily, but we're just gonna, maybe we're gonna find, should I find the games I haven't played probably first? What games have I not played? I haven't played Deus Ex. So we'll take that one right down to the end because I've never played it before. What else have I never played? Thief I've never played. I've never played Last of Us Part Two, uh, Starcraft. I've never played. That might be Road Rash. I've never played. I think that was it. Oh no, I've never played Half Life. I never played Half Life or Half Life Alex, but they're both on my backlog. I guess I'll put them down there as well. Okay, so now that we have those out of the way, I just want to make sure that's all of them. I guess I should start dragging. I don't know how I'm going to do this because there's so many good games. That's the really tricky part. Is there's just so many good ones on here that it's gonna be really tricky to figure out which ones are my favorite. I can go ahead and say like the worst ones. Let's let's put the ones that I don't enjoy or don't think are actually that good. Angry Birds overhyped. Really, really just a fun mobile game that wasn't even the best mobile game. We'll put that one down at the bottom for now. Let's see, what else? Candy Crush was honestly more fun than, than Angry Birds, but not much more. I can't go, I'm gonna put it on the bottom for now. It probably won't stay on the very bottom because it's not that bad of a game. It's nowhere near as bad as Angry Birds. Oh, let's see, what else is not that great? Not that great of a game. Ba -ba 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 All these games are pretty great, pretty great. I can't even knock League, dude. League's actually a pretty great game, you know? The Crash doesn't hold up that well anymore. It's pretty good, but with the, with a list this good, you're gonna have to start putting some good games on the bottom. Let's see. I don't think Microsoft, Microsoft Flight Simulator is gonna be able to hold up. It's not that it's a bad game, but in this in this league, there ain't no way. There just ain't no way. Ba -ba 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 -ba. PUBG's a bad game. By the way, I just randomly picked season six. Let's see. Gosh, 
this is gonna be so hard. This is gonna be so difficult. Oh, man, dude. Look, I love Wii Sports, but it, it can't be up this high. We'll put it down at the bottom too. Tomb Raider's probably gonna be down at the bottom. THPS is gonna be down at the bottom. Bejeweled is honestly worse than Candy Crush. I like Candy Crush more than Bejeweled if I'm being totally, totally upfront. Spyro's gotta be down there with Crash. Man, what are other bad games? Okay, honestly, I think we've got our bottom, I think we've got our bottom tier pretty good. So Angry Birds, I think is probably the worst on here. Bejeweled, Candy Crush. Can I ask a dumb question? Why 56 games? I do not know. That would be a question you have to ask them. If I had to make an assumption, I would presume SEO. Let's see. PUBG is worse than Flight Simulator. Wii Sports is better than Tomb Raider. Wii Sports is better than Splinter Cell. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So now we got to start thinking, what's better than Gran Turismo? What's better than Gran Turismo, but not the rest of them? I'm honestly thinking SimCity might be a good option. And probably Civ too, I'll probably bring Civ down here. Those RTS games are just all right. No Fire Emblem on here either. My dudes, you're killing me. Yeah, all the RTSs are gonna be down here. They just don't hold up, man. They simply don't hold up against the competition. They have such a, they have such a, a limit to their playability. Not much Nintendo love. No, they're PlayStation peeps. They're PlayStation peeps. Miss Pac-Man, I guess we'll go down there. It's a, it's an icon, but hey, look, uh, please tell me if you play more than like 30 minutes of Miss Pac-Man. Please indulge me. Tetris is real good though. Oof. If you play, if you can sit in one setting and play more than 30 minutes of Miss Pac-Man, either you're lying or you're in your 50s. Ooh, that was mean. That was meaner than I meant it to be. All the love, all the love to our aged gamers. I'll probably, probably, probably down there as well. I love Mortal Kombat, but I'm probably gonna take Street Fighter down there too. Again, these are just games, just they're not that replayable. Let's see. Oh man, this is really tough. Now this is getting real hard, real challenging. I guess now let's work the other way. No, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Grim Pendingo right down there. It's a good story game, but when, when put up against these, I just don't know. Super Mario Bros, definitely gotta go down here. I would say Super Mario Bros is worse than Tetris. Oh, I've never played Gone Home either. That's another one. It's been on my backlog forever. Okay. Maybe now we need to start dragging some to the top. Start working our way up now. Some games, some games that are absolutely my top tier games. Would have to be probably Inside is up there pretty high. Journey's up there pretty high. Ocarina's up there pretty high. Again, they didn't put, they just put Smash Franchise. That's another tricky one. Hades up there pretty high. So I just put, I just put Smash in 64. Breath of the Wild's up there pretty high. Mario Galaxy, pretty high. MK8, pretty high. Life is Strange, pretty high. Oh, Portal and Portal 2, pretty high. Portal 2, higher than Portal. Minecraft, pretty high. Ooh, Rocket League can go down here, that's a good one. It's a good one that's not too good. Hard to deny, hard to deny Banjo. Even if it doesn't hold up quite as well. Hard to deny it. Hard to deny Stardew. Stardew's gotta go way up here. Mm, Smash is pretty great. Pure Behind Banjo for now. Sims is gonna go Pure Behind Banjo for now. I really like Stanley. I really like Animal Crossing. Last of Us is an icon. Shadow's an icon. Man, they picked some great games. They really picked some great games. Yes, but two specific Zeldas. Elden Ring's pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling like we're getting something to work with now. Let's see, Bloodborne versus World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft has gotta be over it. Skyrim is over World of Warcraft. Resident Evil is over Skyrim. RDR is below Skyrim. RDR 2 is over RE4. Fortnite, Fortnite. It's an icon, again, it's a pretty big deal, but honestly, I'm gonna say just above World of Warcraft for me. Sonic the Hedgehog is pretty great. League is gonna be below, below, below. Yeah, right there. Sonic versus KOTOR, gosh. I don't know, let's, let's take Forza down below, probably below Skyrim. Doom below Forza. No, keep on dropping it. Keep on dropping it. Keep on dropping it. Right there's good. Right there. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. We're getting into some tricky tricky categories. Dark Souls has gotta be below Bloodborne. Probably below Rocket League, honestly. Okay, now we're getting into some really, really challenging stuff here. What is better than, I'm gonna say Sonic's probably better than KOTOR. Halo's better, or KOTOR's better than Halo. Ugh. This is getting into some tough category. I'm gonna say Castlevania is right about neck and neck. KOTOR, Bioshock is, is really right around God of War. I'm gonna say it's better than GTA V, worse than God of War. 
Star Wars is just around... I'm going to say KOTOR is better than... No, I don't know. I like the LEGO games more than KOTOR. Bloodborne would be higher for me if it wasn't capped at 30 FPS. I've heard really... So Bloodborne is one that I, I have it on here as I've played it. But in truth, I've watched Bloodborne. I've watched it more than played it. Okay. See, now we're getting some more things to work with here. Some more... Some lower tiered games to work with. Stanley Parable is a really good story, but I don't know if it's as good a story as Bioshock. Oh, we're getting in some tough, tough categories. I know Hades is better than Elden Ring, but I don't know if it's better than SMW. Sims is probably not better than SMW, but it's my ranking and I really liked the first Sims. I'm gonna put it just above SMW. Animal Crossing just above that. Smash, Smash is better than Banjo. Cart's better than Smash. Mm, Portal, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop Portal 1 down a little bit. Portal 1's probably gonna go down below Bioshock. Portal 2 will stay right above Last of Us. Oh gosh. Galaxy. Galaxy's gonna go down here below SMW and Haiti. Yeah, I'm really dropping it pretty far. Oof. Man, Galaxy, how the how the mighty have fallen, huh? Let's see. We're getting we're getting good. We're getting good. We're getting to the we're getting to the good part. Inside, I'm gonna say, is just a little worse than Shadow of the Colossus, but definitely up there with the ex excellent storytelling. I feel like Journey's too high. I'm gonna put Journey right down there with Inside. I'm gonna say Inside's better than Journey for now. A Bloodborne is what got me into Dark Souls. I started with DS3 and didn't really like it at first, but after playing Bloodborne, everything clicked. I feel like a lot of people, Bloodborne is their favorite. I'm gonna put Minecraft right above Banjo. I think I'm feeling pretty good about this, honestly, you guys. So this is this is my list, and honestly, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through it right now just to make sure that I like it. So this is gonna be how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna read through one at a time, and make sure that I agree with my decisions. Stardew is better than Life is Strange, I think so. Life is Strange better than Breath of the Wild. That's a toughie, but I'm gonna go with it for now. Breath of the Wild better than Ocarina of Time. That's really hard for me to say, really hard for me to swallow, but I think I believe that. Ocarina of Time better than Mario Kart 8. Yeah, MK8 better than Super Smash the in general. A Smash is better than Minecraft. Minecraft, better than Banjo. Banjo, better than Portal 2. Ooh, I might have to drop Banjo. That's a little too high praise. Nah, I, don't, I can't keep Banjo here. Banjo's a great game, but it ain't that good. Banjo's better than Inside. Okay. Minecraft's better than Portal 2. Okay, Portal 2, better than Last of Us. Last of Us, better than Shadow of the Colossus. I don't know if I agree with that either, man. I really like Last of Us, but Shadow of the Colossus was such an important game. Oh, I definitely like the play style of Shadow almost all around. Ah, that hurts. Okay, Shadow of the Glass is better than Last of Us. Last of Us is better than Banjo. Banjo is better than Inside. Inside is better than Journey. Journey is better than Animal Crossing. Do I agree with that? Better than Animal Crossing in general? Yeah, yes. Animal Crossing, better than Sims. Sims, better than SMW. Ah, yeah, I, I, so here's the problem. Here is the problem with SMW for me is that I definitely did not play it as often as I did The Sims. So I'm going off nostalgia factor here. SMW better than Hades? Just barely. Hades better than Elden Ring? Definitely. Elden Ring better than FF... Is that FF8? No, it's supposed to be FF7. Oopsie. Okay. So the problem is that 6 is better than every other and 8 is better. <laughs> yeah, they, they said 7, man, and I don't know about that. But 7 is good. 7 is good. I think 10 is the best personally, but of course, I'm a PlayStation 2 kid. Seven is better than God of War. It's really hard to say. It's that's a that's a difficult sentence. God of War is better than Bioshock. I can agree with that. Bioshock better than Portal? I think so. Portal better than Stanley? Definitely. Stanley better than SM Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Galaxy better than GTA 5. Grand Theft Auto 5 better than Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I don't know. I don't know about that. GTA is fine, dude. I'm gonna drop GTA down below Kotor. Yeah. Galaxy better than Sonic 2, Sonic 2 better than Castlevania, Symphony. That's a tough one too, but I'm gonna go with it. And no Metroid on here, dude. Not a single Metroid, just a Metroidvania and Castlevania is the one they picked. Castlevania better than Star Wars, video game Lego. They actually just said any Lego game. I picked Lego Star Wars the video game because I just think it's kind of the, the, the epitome of the franchise. Lego Star Wars better than KOTOR, yes. KOTOR better than GTA 5, yes. GTA 5 better than Halo Combat Evolved. Yes, definitely not true. I got a, I got to bump RDR up. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put it above GTA. Okay, RDR better than GTA. Yes, GTA better than Halo. Yes, Halo better than Resident Evil. No, Resident Evil back up, bumping bump, 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 bump back up. Halo better than Skyrim. No, Skyrim bumping it up. Halo better than Forza. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. Forza better than RDR one. Yes, RDR one better than Fortnite. Definitely, Fortnite better than World of Warcraft. I don't know if I agree with myself there anymore. I'm gonna bump. I'm gonna bump World of Warcraft up a little bit. 
Fortnite better than Bloodborne. Gotta disagree. <laughs> Fortnite better than Rocket League. Still no. Rocket League better than Fortnite. Fortnite better than Dark Souls. Yes. Dark Souls better than League. Agreed. League better than Tetris. Disagree. League better than Super Mario Bros. Disagree. League better than Doom. Okay. Doom better than Grim Fandango. I feel bad for Grim Fandango, but it just hasn't held up. I'm sorry, Lucas. I'm sorry. <laughs> League is a good game. It's just such a toxic community. Grim Fandango better than Street Fighter 2. I don't think I agree with that anymore. I'm going to bump Street Fighter back up. Probably above League. Let's see. Grim better than Mortal Kombat. I still don't think I can agree there either. I'm going to bump both those up. I do think Street Fighter 2 is better than Mortal Kombat, even though I like Mortal Kombat better. Uh, Miss Pac-Man, yes. Okay, Grim Fandango better than Miss Pac-Man, yes. Miss Pac-Man better than Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't think so anymore. I'm going to bump that up. Uh, Miss Pac-Man better than SimCity. Ooh, I don't think so. SimCity bumps back up. Miss Pac-Man better than Gran Turis Turismo. I don't know, probably. Gran Turismo better than THPS? No, THPS is moving up. Nope, moving on up. Uh, Gran Turismo better than Splinter Cell? Probably. Splinter Cell better than Tomb Raider? Probably not. Splinter Cell better than Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yes. Better than PUBG? Yes. Spyro, that's, I'm doing my, I'm doing Spyro dirty. Spyro's gonna move up to Wii Sports level. Probably same with Crash. I do think Crash played better than Spyro. Okay. Wii, Crash, Spyro, Gran, Tomb's gonna go above Gran Turismo as well. Tomb, Gran, Splinter, Microsoft Flight Simulator, PUBG. Pubby, PUBG's honestly worse than Candy Crush. Bejeweled, yep, still, and then Angry Birds. Boom, that's the list. I've done it. By golly, I've done it. I haven't played Deus Ex to Gone Home. Disregard. Disregard. Boom, baby. View that list. View that beautiful, beautiful list. I've done it. No link to the past or Super Metroid is a crime which cannot be, be forgiven. I don't know if you noticed, but there's also no Pocket Mans. No Pokemon on here. But you can go check that up with them in their Discord or on their podcast page or on their website. But here is my ranking of their 56 must-play games. Now, if I were to make a 56 must-play games, my list would look very different. But this is the 56 that they picked. And you know what? That's just, that's just what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. They did a wonderful job putting together a list, and I appreciate them doing putting the effort there. And I'm proud of my list. I'm proud of this. I agree with it. I stand by it. I hold strong. I hold these truths to be self-evident. I feel good about it. Honestly, GTA 5 is still up a little high. Still up a little high. 